So if we go from the beginning, so you see it's like the first moment of the attack. You see four rockets going into the market. And we are trying to see if it's a fake video, maybe from a different country, maybe in Syria, but in a different time. And we have seen this has happened a lot. <laughs> If you remember the director who filmed a boy that has been killed, it was just a film that they were doing in a different uh, country even. But it got a lot of traction when people used it as look at what's happening in Syria, right? Uh, but actually it wasn't happening in Syria. So we need, need to make sure that whatever we're looking at, it's really verified. Uh, it's not just propaganda. As human beings, we are very susceptible to information that reinforces our worldviews. We like to think that people have a rational relationship to information. We do not. We have an emotional relationship to information. So when we see over lies or falsehoods or manipulated video, it's very easy as academics or researchers or journalists to say, well, why is this working? How can we see foreign governments put out false information and get away with it? Because they are successful because humans don't want to do the necessary checks. Because if you receive information that reinforces your worldview, you've got no interest to check it. 